Is BlackRock about to push for a spot Ethereum ETF? And what is BlackRock betting on for the next cryptocurrency bull market? We're going to be talking about all that today in today's video. All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is a great day because Bitcoin is pumping. And as you can see right here, Bitcoin is making its way across 38K and it's making its way up to 40K in really the whole market screen, except the stock market's down a little bit, but Bitcoin is up, which is pretty cool. Good stuff there. Now let's go over to Coin Market Cap. As you can see here on Coin Market Cap, not much has changed. Um, I think Dogecoin might have moved up. Um, not too sure. Chainlink has moved up over Tongcoin. Um, not too much has changed over here though. But now let's get into it. Some really really interesting stuff has happened. Take a look at this. The headline: Nine trillion dollar asset manager BlackRock registers Ethereum trust in Delaware. And now there is speculation of a spot Ethereum ETF coming out. Now we know BlackRock is pushing for that spot Bitcoin ETF, which has not been approved yet. Now, here's what I'm thinking, my honest opinion. First of all, this is extremely bullish for the industry. Very bullish because Ethereum is an altcoin and it does not have the same dynamics for as Bitcoin. Second thing, I do not think if they were to file one, I don't think it would get filed anytime. I don't think it would get approved anytime soon. I think the BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF will get approved in 2024. I don't think the Ethereum one would get approved. I think it would come after Bitcoin, but who knows? At the end of the day, we don't control the SEC, so we really have no clue what Gary Gensler and them are going to do. But overall, this is extremely bullish because BlackRock is an absolute monster. They have a ton of money. They can do basically whatever they want. And of course, this completely pumped the price of Ethereum. Um, Ethereum's up around 8% today. And Ethereum honestly has not been pumping too hard this bull market. Uh, of course, you know, the market cap's a lot bigger than it was back in the day. And But I do believe it's still going to do very well this bull market, uh, not financial advice. I think it'll probably give out a 3 to 5x pretty easily. But overall, this is extremely bullish because it's showing that BlackRock is, you know, kind of getting friendly with the altcoins and you know altcoins are a big part of crypto so this is really good to see extremely bullish good stuff and now i'm going to talk about three plays not financial advice that are i believe personally myself that are going to be the easiest plays for the cryptocurrency bull run these are going to be pretty easy um not too crazy and i think and also it involves blackrock as well so once again blackrock is like kind of interested in some of these companies they're kind of hanging around them, you know, news there, news there. So I'm going to be covering it. So the first one is Coinbase stock. So I've talked about Coinbase stock. If you follow me on Twitter, you should already follow me on Twitter. First link in the description. But anyways, guys, Coinbase stock is going to absolutely rip. And let me give you the quick bull case, okay? We're going to go over the analytics and the, you know, the details in a little bit. But first of all, Coinbase has been absolutely pumping lately up 98 at $98. And it launched back in 2021. At around four hundred dollars just in the bull market and then it's come down ever since i believe it's massively massively discounted right now and here's kind of the main bull case so why is coin going to be one of the easiest trades of the cycle l2 base so they now have a layer two called base and of course that's going to drive a ton of liquidity in activity in the coinbase ecosystem and it's also diversifying their revenue streams second custodian of blackrock ptc and others so blackrock as they file for a spot bitcoin etf and eventually they'll probably end up filing for a spot ethereum etf they need somewhere to keep their crypto and they're choosing coinbase and guess what fidelity and all the other guys arc they're all choosing coinbase as well so yeah do what you will with that information and the third thing is massive stake of usdc so they actually have a massive stake of circle they own a ton of it and this is going to absolutely propel them and their company to the fucking moon now let's take a look at some of the analytics so let's go to their cash on hand how much can they survive turbulence yes they have a ton of cash let's take a look at their net assets they have fucking assets 5.75 billion dollars let's take a look at their revenues the revenues aren't too great but with a bull market it will definitely come and here's the really like left curve take for coinbase if you believe crypto is going to do well then obviously the second largest exchange in the world is going to do well. I mean, I don't think it's that, you know, crazy of a play to think, hey, if the people who are, you know, selling the coins, if the coins are going up, wouldn't the company that's selling the coins go up as well in value? I mean, duh. Like, I don't think this is, I think this is probably Coinbase is going to be the easiest, easiest not financial advice 10x of the bull market. I think this thing's going to $1,000 plus in 2025. But I guess we're just going to see what happens. But I think this is so fucking easy of a play. Our next stock is Riot Blockchain. This is definitely further out on the risk curve than Coinbase. 
this is the most liquid Bitcoin miner. Now, you know, disclaimer, Bitcoin mining, when it comes to the halving, it's in a little of an interesting situation. But first of all, let's just take a look at it. Since December of 2022, it is done over basically, it's done basically like a 3x since then, which is very, very good. And I personally believe Riot Blockchain, once again, not financial advice, will do probably a 10x plus in the bull market. And we're going to get into why. So let's take a look at some of the financials. Let's take a look at cash on hand. So why is cash on hand very important? Well, it just shows how much turbulence and bullshit can the company withstand. And they actually have a good amount of cash on hand, $0.43 billion. And the one thing about the Bitcoin mining industry is that every single time, so we know the Bitcoin having historically has been bullish for the price of Bitcoin, but it's not been good for the Bitcoin mining companies because obviously what comes with the having is the miners rewards get split in half. So it causes some problems, you know, revenue and all that shit for, riot, you know, all these Bitcoin miners. Now, Riot Blockchain, the thing is, is they have a, they are the most, they are the biggest Bitcoin miner in North America. And I think, honestly, maybe the world. They are the most liquid. BlackRock is investing in them. We're going to go over right here, right now. As you take other holders, we have Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street. They have big players, you know, who have exposure to Riot. They have a lot of exposure. Now, once again, I know BlackRock does invest in every single company in the S&P 500, but they still have a stake in it. And of course, along with that as well, the, you know, when it comes to the spot Bitcoin ETF, I think once that gets approved, I think a lot of these institutions are going to want more exposure to the industry. They're going to want to deal with the companies in the industry and where they're going to turn to. I think it's going to be Riot Blockchain, aka Riot Platforms. Um, and take a look at this as well from AB Bernstein. They recently just put out a report on Bitcoin mining, and as they say here. We prefer Riot and CleanSpark as market share consolidators with strong operational edge, low cost of production, high liquidity, and unlevered balance sheets. They believe Riot, and as it says here, outperform Riot, best in class miner. And as it says, quality, largest self miner, low cost, long term power agreement with Texas grade capacity growth, three times visibility, high liquidity, slash zero debt. And then take a look at this. This is a very important thing to look at for Bitcoin mining. Take a look at Bitcoin held versus cost of production. Riot holds a ton of Bitcoin and they also it does not cost them that much to produce the Bitcoin as well. Some of these other cryptocurrencies over here of these crypto miners, they could go bit out of business post having. Now here's the thing with the having if the price of Bitcoin is at a certain point post having, then all the miners are going to make it. But if not, then I think some of them are definitely going to probably default and end up getting acquired, et cetera, et cetera. So it kind of comes down to the Bitcoin price, which, kind of come that's really for the whole industry but especially for bitcoin mining right now and that's why i say disclaimer right blockchain is definitely more risky of a play than coinbase but i do believe it's going to make it i think if the doomer scenario for bitcoin miners plays out i personally believe that it's probably going to be end up being riot buying a lot of these smaller miners up i think a lot of these smaller miners are going to end up getting acquired and then next fucking five to ten years by riot i think Riot. you know you see this a lot in upcoming industries there's going to be a ton of companies and there's a couple big winners that end up buying them all out so i think riot's going to be the one that buys them all out but i guess we're just gonna to have to see and once again i also i forgot to mention this i have a lot of exposure to coinbase and riot blockchain as well but yeah so that's what i'm looking for there ton of bitcoin and if we can go here let's just go to their net assets they have 1.24 billion dollars net assets so i think they're doing pretty good i personally and i also personally believe post having the bitcoin price I don't think the Bitcoin mining industry is going to hit as bad as people say it's going to be. I think there's going to be some companies are going to have trouble post having, but I believe the price of Bitcoin is going to be pretty high. If we see the spot Bitcoin ETF get approved before the having, geez, Bitcoin could go to 50, 60, 60K overnight, but we're going to move on to our last play. And a lot of you guys are not going to like this, but Bitcoin, this is literally the fucking easiest trade you could ever make. The easiest trade i personally don't have any like real exposure to bitcoin i don't because i like to go for more riskier plays but how could you fade this play it is literally designed to pump this is the easiest play at all and of course we have the blackrock spot spot bitcoin etf coming up what else do we got we got the fucking presidential election every single year the presidential ele presidential election happens the market pumps every single time whether it's going into the election or after the election the market always pumps we also have the possibility of interest rates getting lowered we also have the possibility of quantitative easing maybe that happens maybe 
And then we got fucking BlackRock, you know, getting into the Bitcoin game and everything. I don't know how you couldn't be bullish. Oh, and on top of that, we have the halving as well. There are so many bullish for bullish indicators for Bitcoin. I understand with some of these altcoins, you know, and some of these crypto stocks, whatever, you might not be too into it, but Bitcoin, not financial advice, is literally the, like, there has never been an easier play in history. Like, this is, duh, this thing is going to rock it. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Make sure to go subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, post some daily videos here, and also go follow me on Twitter. I'm most active there. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching.